नमस्कार ग्रेट प्लेटफॉर्म टू टॉक अबाउट इंडिया टुडे एंड आई एम नॉट अ ग्रेट फॉर्मल स्पीकर बट आई ट्राई एंड स्पीक माय हार्ट आउट बिकॉज आई लव बिहाइंड द कैमरा एंड कमिंग आउट एंड स्पीकिंग वेल आई मीन द फर्स्ट थिंग आई वुड से दैट आई हैव बीन ट्रैवलिंग अ लॉर्ड अराउंड द वर्ल्ड फॉर मेनी इयर्स एंड दे वाज वन थिंग आई ऑलवेज से दैट आई एम वेरी प्राउड टू बी एन इंडियन एस एवरी इंडियन but i always say that if you compare even this is a great country to live because of its culture heritage value system also the freedom we have you know it's like a smaller instance like you can cross the road you do some illegal things even and you can have a conversation and sort it out rather than going to police or court or anything like that <coughs> but of course it just in last few months i would say it's it's quite a dire situation in india i mean in everything in terms of economic political and social situation because the election is also ahead so i think there a lot of it's quite a scary situation here just particularly the economic situation and that would drive into i don't know what the consequences would be but i'll go back a little bit to my own history and bring out what made me really happy how we are progressing how we calling it a developing nation it just two years you no know, one year back i took my 9 years old child who's now quite matured enough to ask questions i took him to my village i come from a very humble background this is western orissa where we had really literally witnessed three decades of drought and i took him and after he spent one day he said dad you're a liar i said what happened he said you said that there was no roads no telephone no electricity no school buildings you were starting under the tree and now what is it they were like i you have one mobile but there are villagers who have two mobiles even you know and there like several television set there were about 20 cars in the village and that's what india is my school building is one of the beautiful structure i would say like a temple it was pink green and everything has changed and that is that is what happened to india there a lot of development has happened <clears throat> but coming back to what always been a question with me and the reason i made i am kalam then my next film and now i'm getting into a trilogy which is land water food the trilogy which i'm starting the reason i made the film i still have in the whole room i want to ask one thing that even in 21st century where you were saying we are economically growing and everything one basic so you know problem we haven't been able to solve is children why there are still 30 million children out of the school why they still child labor and i think i realized to the one point even looking at my son that that whole feudalist system which is i would i would never say that if you if you want to say that no it was due to poverty or anything but it was due to habit or whatever we we call it but this is only because of that feudalistic system what we 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 had in our past and that same goes to why so many times to so many president has come but we never been able to solve that people have been talking about you know at a the at a growth rate of 1.4% probably will be the highest popular you know um, pop, uh, highest popular country in the world probably will exceed you know uh, you know move away china also in that way but the one question i always you know whenever i go i try to argue on that one point population is always an asset and we haven't been able to give that basic healthcare basic education which is why probably we getting into this problem and even to fight that look at the scenario when the whole world had this whole economic depression and india was still striving it fast and india is, did well and it's all because of that ideology the value system what we had probably learned from our fathers and parents but today suddenly we see that everything is kind of getting up getting out of our hand and the one beautiful thing which i have noticed recently is if you see particularly this time now even your rights the basic rights has been purchased you know the most interesting part was every state you go now they now all the politicians are opening shopping mall you know you'd see today they're giving laptops tomorrow they're giving 2 rupees rice kilo then all these schemes probably and this is what we are teaching our children that you know for your rights also you'll be bribed and if that is the future of india you know i i heard a nice scheme i own name the politicians or anything now they're giving gold 
you know, during this time, they're giving gold for the daughter's wedding. You're stopping dowry here and now giving gifts for the daughter's wedding. Now, if that is the way you are buying the basic rights, which is your voting rights, what are we giving to these children? I think this is time to unlearn and find a way and follow at least what our ancestors has taught us and go to their footsteps and some way or the other to bring that. It becomes like, I think this is worse than the Bollywood cinema. We sell dreams, you know, in our cinemas. And probably the leadership and politicians has become, they got into the level they're showing, uh, you know, I would say the dirty dreams, you know, which is not possible. And after that, now that versus what the economic situation is. I think it, it's time to get back and unlearn some bit and bring our own value system to at least create a new scenario if at all we wanted to shape up this country. Well, I think the first thing which I would say to shape up the future would be that like every gentleman would say that this is a young country, we need to shape up the youth, find a way to give them education, healthcare, then this should, this should shape up the country at least to some level. And I think there should be a new way to start this whole constitutional system where the voting rights has been brought up. This, ideally, the election commission should find a way to bring out, there should not be this shopping mall. I think that, that, that becomes the danger for the country also. And well, I would, it just, these are the points which I would like to bring. And uh, well, I won't agree with a lot of this policy which is forming just to buy votes. It just will have to figure out how the youth and the young generations, you know, to bring up with their own value system and ideology. Well, I had a lot of things which I had put in the paper also because it's, I always say that it's not about two India, it's the three India which our parents have struggled, we striped, and now this new generation who are also suffering because of that. So I would say it's, it's a time to look back and unlearn to be an Indian what our ancestors has taught us to become the real, you know, tomorrow's Indian. <laughs>